It was Super Saturday for two area baseball teams looking to take home sectional titles and clinch a spot in Super Sectionals next week. I thought I was done with high school back in 2016, but here I am back at my alumni, Dundee Crown High School, as Hananiga looks to take down Jacobs for the title. More on this guy, Maddox Hibbert, in a bit, but Hano's bats picking up where they left off on Thursday. Jeremiah Olson, he grounds one up the middle, scoring Landon Seymour. Braden Lane trying to score as well, but as you saw, he slipped rounding third. They go up one, but that slip won't matter because the next batter up, Austin Dresser, he bounces one into right field. A wild hop there puts Hano up two to nothing, but it was all senior Maddox Hibbert in this one. Six and a third innings, one run, five walks, six strikeouts, and zero hits allowed. And he would lead his Indians to a 3-2 to two sectional title win as you see the final play there over Jacobs. I asked Hibbert after the game if he knew just how well he was pitching as he left the game with zero hits. I was just told that about two minutes ago. I wasn't aware of that. Biggest start of your life? Yeah. Every single guy on this team has showed up every day wanting to be here. We've known we can come this far. Coach enjoying the ice bath on a hot day. What a great way to cool off. The Indians, though, they hope they don't cool off as they play at Northwestern Medicine Field, home of the Kane County Cougars on Monday at 6 o'clock against York. And Sycamore playing Burlington Central for their sectional and a chance to head to Geneseo where their season ended last year. The Spartan Bats came out hot in their biggest game of the year, already up 4-0 and looking for more. Kiefer Tarnaki plates two across on the sharp double to left and the home run hitter from the semifinal, Jimmy Atman. There he is, he's on the bump today and he was locked in, just cruising through the first six innings of this game, and the senior was feeling it. You'll see him here getting a little strut on the mound. He feels good after a big punch out. He would leave the game in the sixth after giving up some unearned runs. Matthew Rosado comes in in relief and locks things down. He gets the strikeout to win the sectional championship, eight to three, and the Spartans are heading back to Geneseo. I just come out and try to play as hard as I possibly can, leave it all on the field, you know. Second, second you go down, um, you lose a game, you're out. You're, my high school career is over, so it's got to give it all I got. It feels great. Uh, we've we put a, we sort of set goals all year, you know, win regionals, win sectionals, make it back to Geneseo where we where we ended our season last year, and I'm so excited to be able to go there and prove ourselves and hopefully make it to a state championship. The Spartans now play Rock Island out in Geneseo coming up on Monday.